Hi there, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you what I have currently inked in my fountain pens. I've had these same pens inked for a couple of weeks now, and I've actually been refilling them as I run out of ink because I really like this lineup a lot. And I'll just go ahead and get started. So these are my pens that I've inked for June. Um, at this point, I will probably run the ink out and then not refill them. And I'll have a new batch of pens probably in a couple of weeks. Uh, the first thing I guess I'll talk about is... Oh, I'll just... No particular order. This is my Franklin Kristoff model. Mm, 31, I think. Now I have to look. Thirty-one. This is um, neon yellow and salmon glow. I adore this pen so much, and I inked it with coral <laughs> because I don't know. It just makes sense. Um, one thing I notice about this pen is it always starts out very, very saturated. Um, and then, and I think that's probably because it dries out a little bit in the, the cap. This has a steel broad nib. It lightened up a little bit here, but you can see it's very, very dark. Um, that's my first pen. I'm not sure if I should say anything else about this. It's a as a cartridge converter. Um, yeah. This is a good one. I'll, I'll show you the second Franklin Kristoff. This is my birthday pen. My husband gave me money for a pen and this is what I chose. This is the Franklin Kristoff model 46. I have to check. <laughs> I can't, I just can't keep track of these number titles. Yes, 46. And the color is orange ice. Um... There is a sweet spot on this nib. The nib is a broad sig nib. And it's got a sweet spot that I somehow have trouble finding. It's a steel nib. Cartridge converter. And it's actually very low on ink, as you can see. <laughs> um, I have this currently inked up with Tono and Limbs. 
harvest persimmon. Persimmon. So this differs from this in that it doesn't have a cap or a roll stop, which I just have to be extra careful with it, I suppose. I'm not sure if I'm totally... I, I, I like the nib, but I think I like the broad nib better. I'm just trying to get used to it. Another newish pen that I recently picked up is the Lamy All-Star. All in petrol. So this is the aluminum bodied Lamy and I got it in a broad nib. Big surprise. And I love this pen so much. It's it's really really great. I like the weight of it much better than I did when I had the Lamy All Star or the Lamy um Safari. I have this inked up with wearing, wearing, wearing ghoul, and it's called Autumn Night. After 1,000 years, it's kind of a gray, kind of a green. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. This is, um, really happy with this pen. Next up is my Renga Monterey. I had to have the nib fixed on this one because when I had gotten it, it was real scratchy. But I sent it back to Peyton Street Pens and they did a great job. They fixed it right up very quickly and got it right back to me. So this is the collaboration that Ranga and Peyton Street Pens did together. It's got a ebonite body. I got it in the olive green color. It has a gold colored steel nib. There's nothing on the nib. Not even the size. Is still a little bit feedbacky. I have this synced with Ferris Wheel Press Goose Poupon. Next up on the list is my Sailor. This is my Sailor's 1911 standard in black and yellow. has a gold tone 14 karat gold zoom nib and I have this inked with a sample of Kobe ink and Shinka Ichi gold which was a sample I got from Leanne of Leanne Likes. I like this nib a lot. Pen's a little small though, for me. I would like the the large actually it would be nice. Someday, someday. Next up is my Twisby Royal Jade. 
with a rose gold nib. Eco. It's got a broad nib. And I have this inked up with Pannonia. Patina. Which was a, a sample that I received recently. Um, that I uh, bought from Vanessa Pens. It's a pretty color. It's very light though. And then finally, I inked up one of my Jin Hao pens. Long story short, I watched a video from Nusha of Fer Ferocious and Pretty Pens. She's on YouTube. Give her a watch. She did a video on the Jin Hao 82 and how you can order broad nibs from Fountain Pen Revolution and replace and she showed how to replace the nib. So that is what I've done here. I have a broad nib on there, Fountain Pen Revolution. I got a three pack there and um, I don't know that it's a great fit with the feed. I think the nib is a little bit large. It's a 5.5 So what I'm dealing with is some skipping. But this one seems to be working okay, although I do have Pilot Eroshizuku Ajisai in this pen, and maybe that's why it's working so well. Um, but I had a green one with the same nib in it, and I was using Royal Azalea by Dominant Industry, and I think that ink was a little bit too dry for that feed. So, yeah, there's just slightly skipping in the beginning. If I let this sit for a second and then go to right, it, that's when it was skipping. This is the gray body. This is a broad nib, fountain pen, revolution. It's, yeah, I mean, it's, it's doing its job. It's doing a pretty good job now that I have this ink in there. So maybe I just need to buy more Pilot ink. That's kind of what I'm getting. That's what I'm thinking. But it's a beautiful, like, almost hydrangea blue, like periwinkle-y kind of. I'll keep you posted on this. I've adjusted it, readjusted it, and now that I've got it working, I feel like I should not ever touch that again. The good part is these nib units do unscrew out of the section. So that being said, I don't really have to do anything. I can just take this nib out and put it in a different body if I want to change the color of the pen. But I love this gray. So that's my lineup for the month of June. Um, very kind of rainbowy. A little bit rainbowy. I just really love this lineup and I'm really having a good time writing letters and doing journal entries with it. Like this is the gray. There's the coral. There's 
the harvest persimmon. Um, that's the Ferris wheel press. They're just, they're nice. They're nice colors. This is a little light for me. The patina. But it's pretty. So, I hope you like this video. Um, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content like this. I also do some knitting content on my channel. Um, but I have everything organized by playlist. So, go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any questions. Let me know. Uh, if you have any questions about the pens, let me know. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.